keyboard and keypad are media that permeate everyday life. They are not only embedded in laptops or desktops, but also in smartphones that are indispensable to us. In them, the keyboard spans many processes. A keyboard that does not look like air is produced by standardizing communication. We repeatedly tap the keyboard to combine random symbols and transfer these finished products to distribute and store them every day. I analyze the keyboard as a media and set up a model called keyboard assembly line. Keyboard the assembly line operates in three stages. First, just as parts are completed through the hands of workers on a conveyor belt that moves at a constant high speed in one direction, character symbols are quickly combined. If an error occurs, the symbol can be discarded immediately. At this time, it doesn't matter whose hand it went through. This is because all character symbols have standardized forms. On the keyboard, the characters are evenly segmented according to the matrix. Eventually, writing ends up being just a meaningless element, that is, a computable combination of character symbols. Second, when we press the transfer button, a combined character symbol such as a finished product is transmitted to another interface. We combine symbols with only one keyboard and the same character set, but this modularized product can be transmitted anywhere. The combination of symbols produced is substantially separated from me. The fact that the result value shown through particular practice is separated from a person who practices specific action also means that the labor for practice and thoughts no longer stay in the real world. Therefore, characters that have become disposable are easily emitted and distant. Finally, character symbols are converted into data of O and 1 in the digital world and stored. There are endless interfaces that the keyboard can access. Since digital is a huge area that extends beyond our capabilities, stored data is either replicated or permanently stored by a third party if we don't remember as if the same products are used or thrown away all over the world. Therefore, all modularized characters constantly accumulate beyond the screen. Even we can't distinguish the data we leave behind. I was most influenced by the theorist Friedrich Kittler when I analyzed the keyboard. I accepted Kittler's analysis of the effects of typewriters because I agree with the premise that human thought and action are never separate. Just as human thinking changes with changes in the language system, changes in certain behaviors also affect the way of thinking. As human literacy, understanding, and information processing processes have changed as people have gradually become accustomed to reading to viewing images due to the development of digital media. I think hardware, as well as software of the media, affects it. In a world composed of only zero and one, can humans consider implication or spirituality important? The digital world rejects human thought. We live surrounded by media that exclude reason. Clearly, the way of communication with characters in which only materiality remains is related in a different way than before. We contact someone through standardized data, and if we are not given an ID, we cannot tell who is talking with me is by looking at the text. In the end, anonymity is the default method of establishing a modern relationship, and authenticity can be guaranteed relationships, can be formed, only, if efforts, are made beyond this. In modern society, I think this method of establishing a relationship requires a lot of effort. And I think that the characters of hardware of this media is one of the reasons for everyone's loneliness and isolation, but longing for the affection of others. That's why I became skeptical about this keyboard assembly line phenomenon. Lastly, I produced a demo version of video art based on this media, analysis, and social phenomenon.